Hey everybody, welcome back to Liberty City here in Bellevue Park. We are doing the continuing adventures of Claude Speed here. Let's see what we got. I think we got a cheetah and an enforcer, right? Yes. Alright, we're going to leave both of those in the lockup today. We are going to see, let's see what we have as far as weapons. Um, we've got pistols over here for pickup. We've got Uzis. We've got the shotgun. We need to go get some more ammo for our assault rifle. I think we will go and do that now. So I'm going to head out of here. It has been a while. I am sorry. Uh, things have been keeping me busy. So we are back here to play and get a little bit more done in our adventure. On toward the end of the game here. I think we're literally probably a little over halfway through with the game at this point. If I remember correctly. Something like that. But what we are going to do, we're going to head on down the road. See if we can get us a car to spawn. There we go. Here we are. We're going to head out. We are going to get a uh, another suit of body armor. And then we are going to go hit the ammunition. And see about getting us some more assault rifle ammo. And maybe take a look at how much a sniper is. I think the snipers are about 10,000. So we might pick up one of those while we're at it. And then once that's done, we are going to head on over. And uh, there's our ammunition right down here. And then we're going to head on over and run another mission for Kenji here. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And once we've got that out of the way, and we're back over at Kenji's place, we will see you then. One more thing before we head over to Kenji's. Um, as you see, we are passing Central Park, or the Middle Park here, off to our left. Right there are the basketball goals and everything. Just to our right is Uncle BJ's Deli and Grocery. And right down here, if you remember in the last episode, there's another Uncle BJ's. This is the one that was getting all the, the trouble with gang violence and all. Got all the busted windows and everything. And while we were doing that, I saw another hidden package right over here in the corner. So let's pick it up. There we go. Now we got hidden package number 41. So excellent. Okay. I think we've still got two or three to discover over on Staunton. I will have to uh, take a look and let y'all know exactly how many it was that we are still looking for. But in the meantime, is this where the turn? Oh. There's one right over there, too. Let's go grab it. All right. There we go, 42. Very good. Okay. I'd forgotten that one was there. It's right up here is what I was looking for, is the entrance back up there to the upper level. Right here. So we are going to head back on over to Kenji's Casino, which is in the, uh, up here to the southwest. And we will see as we pull back up over there. Approaching the casino. Hey, Kenji, long time no see, man. As you see, we have changed our car. We are in Inferness now. I'm afraid the, uh, the nice little Yakuza Stinger that we were in got a little bashed up on the way. So let's see if we can park it here. I always like to try and be facing the other direction because you can pretty, pretty sure that uh, whatever the mission is, you're probably going to be leaving the casino here to go do it. So I always kind of like to be facing over that way. All right, just after midnight, let's go see what Kenji has for us. Smackdown. You. How fitting you should choose this moment to sow your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushes line Liberty Street selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. 
those cartel pigs are laughing at us. At me, I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers of our enemy's blood! Okay, you must murder at least eight yardy dealers. All right, we've got the kills. Kill them quickly. Once they push their spank, they're off their street. All righty, I am going to hold up right there. And I am going to go get me a cup of coffee. And I will be right back. As you see, we don't really have a time limit, but we do have a time limit. And that we've got to knock these, uh, not got to knock these dealers out before they uh, leave the streets there. Ah, good coffee, good coffee. All right, folks, let's get back to resume game, and let's get going here. I am sorry. There. All right, like I said, we don't really have a timer, but we kind of have a timer, don't we? Because we've got to get these dealers, as they say before, they leave the streets. So let's see if we can get on out here and get them. If we can find where exactly they are. I was hoping to get uh, a little more done today, um, but I was having issues with uh, the fact that, let's see, where is he at here? Yep. He's, on, he's on one street on further on, isn't he? Okay, come on, come on. Let's find him. Where is he at? I have real, no real memory of this mission. There we go. Okay, so we can just run them down. They say kill them quickly. Once they push, they spank, they're off the streets, okay? Let's see if we can get this guy over here, then. All right, so he's on this next street over. Lord, quit bashing up your car. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Let's go see if we can get him. Good, all right. Dealer Mints, looks like the others are way off to the left there. So we got to get six more, I think he said. So I said I was hoping to get more done today, but we had a really powerful thunderstorm come through the Atlanta area here. And, uh, okay, there's one in the park. Looks like there's one over here. Yes, he is. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. There. All right, let's go get the one in the park. Where's he at now? Where's he at? Come on. Looks like he's there. He is. Line ourselves up with his arrow. And boom, he's down. Whoa! Let's try not to destroy our car too badly, shall we? All right, let's go get these two over here to our left. Yep, there's one right over here on this street. Let's go get him. There he is, line him up, line him up, line him up. Ooh, okay. We gotta get three more. Let's go over here and see if we can find these. Hopefully there'll be some over here. I see three off behind us. Hopefully there'll be three off here to our left, too. But yeah, a bad thunderstorm came through the area, so I had to shut things down. Even though I've got everything running through a really good, uh, really good circuit breaker. Whoa, a Yardie's off the street. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I would almost... I'd rather have a timer than this fake timer business, you know, where you don't know, you don't know how much time you have, you know? This is just, it's like, well, have I got enough time to get the rest of these, or how quickly, there's another Yardie off the streets. All right, I gotta go one more. Let's try and get this one over here. He can't be too far away. Whoa, 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 run, 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 run. See, that's what I'm talking about, another Yardie off the streets. How quickly are they leaving here? Let's see if we can get this one over here. I think we gotta get eight. If I remember right, we gotta get eight. Let's see if we can get this guy. Line him up, there he is, there he is. Let's go, let's go. Dealer minced. Let's take a look at the briefs right quick. Kill at least eight, okay. So we've got enough to actually complete the mission. I wonder if you get a bonus if you can kill more. Whew, alrighty. Oh, like I said, that's more stressful than having a real ass timer. Let's go on up here and see if we can get a couple more. We've got enough to finish the actual mission and preserve Kenji's honor. And it looks like they're getting off the street real fast here. So it looks like, yeah, you've got about four minutes or so to actually finish the mission. There we go. 
Mission pass, $10,000. Whoa. Yeah, we had just a little over four minutes there to get rid of eight yardies. So that is a pain in the butt. All right, it is uh, five o'clock in the morning. Fortunately, we have finished that one. I was wondering, do I want to save up? I don't think I want to save up, but what I do want to do is go down here and uh, reload on ammo and all while I've got the opportunity. All right, Kenji has disappeared off the map now. I'm hoping he's dead. Unfortunately, I don't believe so. <laughs> More likely, he's just quit being a... Uh, quit being a, a uh, mission for us and I think at this point that was a nice one we didn't take any armor damage we didn't take any health damage we did run through a number of cars but you know what can you do about that I'm gonna go down here get into another stinger so we got a little speed and I'm not running around this perennial because station wagons ouch you know and once we get a better car, we will head on over and we'll go see Ray in his uh, luxurious underground bathroom office. So we will see you in just a bit there. Let's pull on into the park here, get up here close to the bathrooms. Um, you wanna kill me? Once again, I think... Yeah, we'll leave it that way. I think it's just over the hill there to the right and exit if we have to to get out of here. Let's go down here and let's talk to Ray. I was looking just now at the mission list. Uh, <clears throat> I had to take a pause, go fill up my coffee cup again. And I flipped out to the wiki and looked at our mission list, and we are actually about two-thirds, if not a little bit further toward the game. So we are about to enter into the home stretch here. Let's go on down and let's see what Ray is saying. Silence the sneak. That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's going to get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in which that property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Talks that place. That's it. Flush him out and you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. Okay, check out the witness protection house. Now this one in particular, I do remember bits and pieces of it. And I do remember it being, uh... Hmm. I do remember it being rather difficult. Uh, so I'm wondering if I need to go get that enforcer that I've been holding on to. And seriously, we don't really need to hold on to that enforcer because we can go pick another one up at the police station over there anytime we like. But I'm thinking but I'm gonna go ahead and go grab it. Let's rearm. Okay. Pull on up. Let's go get the enforcer out. Well, that's a long way of going around. Come on. How about we get in? Can we get in from the other side? This way? Yes, why didn't you just do that to start with? Okay. Did you hear a car burning? I swear that was the sound effect that you get from flame whenever a car is on fire. Let's park our stinger in there. Once again, it's another one where we, it's like, we don't really have to do that. Huh, okay. Don't really have to. Oh, that's me walking through water. Amazing how water puddle there sounds just like uh, flames. 
made me think of flames. All right, we are gonna go up here, take a look at the safe house. Whoa! Another one of those things in this game. You see the same thing in GTA 4 uh, occasionally where it's like weird shit is just going on. Let's take a look at our brief. You know, cars flying everywhere. Torch that place, flush them out, and then you'll have to hunt them down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. All right. Then I don't know. Is this going to be right or not? He's under armed protection. See, that's the part that bothers me. That's why I wanted the nice big armored vehicle here. The whole armed protection thing. Because I don't remember how tough this is. I do remember this mission. And I remember that he is in a place right over here. We've spent a lot of time over here at this paying spray. Take a look down this way. Okay. I was wondering if there's maybe a package down that way. We'll have to check sometime. He's like right there. That's where he is. And I'm thinking, if I remember right, I believe he like comes out of this uh, garage right there. I'm not sure, but I think he comes out of that garage. Hmm. I'm wondering if we can block the garage, but like torch the place. See, that's the problem. It's torching the place, because I'm not sure whether I can throw a grenade up there or whether it's going to blow my uh, police cruiser up, you know? <laughs> that could be a problem. Hmm. So if I park Hmm, what if I park the police cruiser up there to the right a little ways? Not police cruiser, the enforcer. Let me park it right up here. Maybe that will keep them from being able to get out that way. They'll have to come up beside me. There, let's go ahead and get a car. I like to try and do this the smart way. Let's get a crappy-ass car, but a car nonetheless. Ready in case we have to chase him down. Oh, shut up. All right, let's see. I'm wondering. Sniper rifle. Okay, two to the left. It's a shotgun. How deadly is the shotgun? I'm wanting to say it can do some hellacious damage. Okay, can I do that? Oh, back up, back up. All right. All right, we need to be a little bit further to the right. little harder. Alright, let's move forward just a hair. And it went. There we go. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Come on, come on, come on, get in this car. It might have been a good thing if we could have dropped a... Uh, all right, where's he at? We could have dropped another grenade on him while he was trying to get around. That might have been a good thing to do. In the meantime, let's go see if we can take him out. See if we can be able to keep up with him in this thing. Hmm. Come on, come on. Two-star police rating. That doesn't help us. Of course, I can always stop by the place if I have to, but... That 
is uh, going to be sure to make us lose him if I try and go by the hideout and take these two stars off of us. What's he doing over there? Damn it! Get out of the way, cars. I mean, seriously. And he escaped. Fucking no, son of a bitch! Alrighty. And see, we're gonna have to try some different techniques here. First of all, let's get rid of this wanted rating. Because unfortunately, you fail a mission, your wanted rating does not go away. So, this is why we have these little stars over here at our hideout for just such an emergency, as Foghorn Leghorn would say. There we go. And as easy as that, we have evaded the police presence. <laughs> They were following us on down in here, weren't they? All right, let's rearm. I'm gonna get the police van. Let's park the uh, police enforcer back in here so we can repair it. There we go. Put our enforcer back in there. That way it will repair itself when we go in and save. And I think when we come back out, We will try this mission again, and this time I'm going to try to be a little bit smarter about it. And when he comes out in his other car, I'm going to see if I can throw another uh, grenade over in his way. I think I had the right idea, it's just I didn't know he was going to go out that direction. I thought he would come back out and, like, come past me and I could shoot him. But the fact that he was lodged in down there. I think maybe we can throw another grenade down there. Take him out. Let's see, 20 July, right here. And see if we can take him out that way. So we will see you next time.